Hi everybody, me again. You know how central the biblical virtue of stewardship is to our faith, right? It shows us just how much we, always with God's grace and mercy, can do together as a church. In fact, you heard the good news from last year, right? Last year we exceeded our historic $18 million goal by another million, with a record number of Catholics contributing, the biggest number ever. So. I'd, I'd like to show you just a few instances of what your generous stewardship is doing and then outline some of our goals and introduce you to some very wonderful people whose stewardship stories go way beyond words. Now, to start with, I'd like you to meet Irene Kohler of Our Lady of Fatima Parish. Irene runs one of the largest religious education programs for children with special needs. You know that the Archdiocesan Stewardship Appeal funds Catholic schools and the training of more than 10,000 lay catechists each year. And Irene is so passionate about educating all of God's children, no exceptions. Every child has a right to an education. Every child in this country has a right to religious education. And we should never turn them away. We should never say no. It's such a feeling of comfort to have a parish where the doors are open wide and every child is welcome. They have as much right to be here as all of us and they feel very embraced by this community. I think what I get out of it is I get an example of a miracle every single week. Jesus loved me. Oh, did you hear him say that? I never heard him speak before. Um, Jesus loves me. Yay, Johnny! We meet the children where they need to be met. When we have children who are visual learners, we use visual aids. When we have children who respond more to stories and singing, that's what we use. We're very flexible with how we teach the children because again, the overarching goal at the end of the day is for them to know they're loved, they're special. The teachers do this because of their love of God and they want to share their faith with children all children. Stewardship Appeal allows us to fund a program through the catechetical office that will train catechists and will help a parish start a program for any child in their parish who has special needs. It really supports a culture of life. I think supporting the Stewardship Appeal would allow more parishes to achieve what this parish has achieved. If you're thinking about making a pledge or a donation to the appeal, allowing the catechetical office to have the funding to be able to do this kind of work in parishes, to me, is worth more than anything I can think of. Children have souls that have no disability. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen! Amen. Aren't those children the most life-affirming inspiration you could ever see? On that note, now I'd like to introduce you to Sister Veronica Sullivan of the Sisters of Life, who is the director of the Archdiocesan Family Life Respect Life Office. Can you think of a more important act of biblical stewardship than standing up for life and family? Meet Sister Veronica. When I was discerning my calling and felt drawn to the sisters, Sisters of Life, in particular because of their apostolate, their charism to the unborn, I remember asking myself, what is the most generous thing I can do with my life? My life is a gift, and how can I give it back most generously? And I remember thinking, at the end of my life, I want to be able to say, I gave the best I had. Our main focus is to promote and cultivate a culture of life in all aspects. So that obviously begins with the family. So a lot of our focus in, is in preparation for marriage. So we work with engaged couples. We have an extensive Respect Life program where we promote the dignity of human life. We have a bereavement program uh, with 62 groups in the archdiocese. We have a separate and divorced ministry, a great healing component to our office. Stewardship, in essence, is protecting. It's educating, it's encouraging. It's showing a new generation uh, how to take joy in their Catholic faith. And so what we're finding is that the young, in particular, are very receptive to this message, uh, the message of life, the message of love. Once they hear it, they receive it as true. You see the fire ignited in them, and they become 
the new evangelizers. And that's what stewardship is, passing along what we hold most dear, the truths of our faith to them, to the next generation. Without stewards, without people giving, uh, this work wouldn't be possible. The stewardship appeal represents, I think, a kind of collective prayer. It's really a gift of love um, for life. The Archdiocesan Stewardship Appeal assists our Catholic charities to feed the hungry, shelter the homeless, strengthen families, support the physically and emotionally challenged, welcome and integrate immigrants and refugees, and protect and nurture children and youth. Annette Rodriguez is evidence of the effectiveness of our appeal. She's a Catholic Charities caseworker, but while back, she herself was a client who needed assistance herself. See. Yes, Catholic Charities, I owe them my life. They were there to guide me and to make sure that, you know, I would creep out of this hole that I was in. Look where I'm at right now. I'm working for Catholic Charities. I'm helping other people, other people that were in my situation. It's a dominoes effect, you know. You help one person, and that person helps themselves, and they go on to helping others. And when I see these other people, they come to thank me because I've changed their lives. You have to tell them, look in the mirror, you know, look at yourself, you know, what do you see? Because I see a beautiful person. Trust me, I was there. I always let them know that I was there on that side also, that I needed that help. And look where I'm at now. So open up, talk to me. I don't know where I would be without Catholic Charities or the people that give and, and, and help and donate. I don't know where I would be without them. As I see it, if we all want to promote well-being, encourage virtue, promote diligence and prosperity and responsibility, provide uplifting assistance to the needy, I say consider the idea of biblical stewardship. Let's show the world what can be done by the church. You as stewards are in a position to do just that to show our strength in numbers and solidarity, to show our strength of spirit, to show the power of prayer, which bears fruit in stewardship. The annual Archdiocesan Stewardship Appeal is really an act of faith, an affirmation of hope, not only by a few large donors, thank God for them, but thousands of you, 60,000 people plus families, giving to the point of sacrifice what they can. You're right, Sister Veronica, our appeal is really a collective prayer what a powerful force that is to pray and act together. Imagine, just imagine the additional things we could do if, if all of our two and a half million Catholics in the Archdiocese participated. I sure hope you will. That's my prayer, that more of you will see how much still needs to be done, done in a world that is challenged, not only economically, you bet it is, but starved as well for faith, peace, and love. Boy, if we could raise participation just a bit, even only 15% like we did last year, we'd be nearly 70,000 strong. So, hear my appeal. My good stewards, give, please, again this year, thanks for what you've done in the past, but give, and encourage your friends also to give to the annual Archdiocesan Stewardship Appeal. Thanks a lot, and God bless you.